welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be showing you guys how I reorganized my um, my spice cabinet, I think it's called. What is it called? Where you keep your seasonings, my seasoning cabinet. I don't know. <laughs> um, I reorganized it and I reorganized my pantry too. So I'm super excited to show you guys. So enjoy. <laughs> All right, guys, so this is the before. Oh my gosh, I know, it's really bad. That's why I'm organizing it. But I wanted to encourage you guys to get up and organize one cabinet, one drawer, one something. Um, just get moving. I hope this encourages you and you enjoy. So this is all the stuff that I had in the cabinets. They're nice and empty now. And I just wiped them down. Sorry, I didn't record that. I was talking to my mom on the phone. Um, but yeah, so I got everything out. So now my plan is to go through all my seasonings, make sure they're not expired, see what I have, try to court, um, what am I saying? Um, categorize everything and you know like for example I have I didn't know which this happened to me when I was doing my jewelry and uh, everything I don't know what I have because it's just a mess so um, I have bay leaves here look bay leaves bay leaves I think I have another one somewhere when I was pulling them I'm like oh look another one bay leaves like I don't even know if this is expired do they expire I'm gonna have to go oh, yep, there's an expiration date let's see Used by August 2020. Okay, so maybe bay leaves. I know this is old, but maybe they last a really long time. Um, see, this one is expired um, of 19, so that's trash. This one, I probably think it's expired too. I got it from a Spanish store and there's no label. So I'm going to be safe than sorry. Is that how it goes? Safe, be safe. I don't know, whatever. Y'all know what I mean. I'm, I think I'm just gonna throw it away just because I don't know um, if it's good or not. And then I have the other one. When is this one expired? Um, oh, 324. Okay, so see, see, I have two of them. That's good. Um, also, I'll put those together. So like that, I'm just gonna go through everything, make sure nothing is expired. And if it is, I'll just get rid of it. And then I'll try to organize it nicely. So I don't, I'm not really, I don't have, um, I don't know if I should like, move everything and put like stuff on one side or just I'm thinking I'm just gonna put them up here for now and then I know this is good because I just bought this but I'm gonna move it from to my pantry <laughs> I use um honey for when the boys are starting to not feel well so I didn't know I had this one and I bought this one <laughs> but I gotta wipe this down because it's kind of sticky I'm using Mrs. Myers. It's not all natural. So, I mean, it's not going to go inside the honey, but still, just in case. So, guys, I wanted to kind of encourage you guys to clean and get your house in order. Take this time that we're all stuck at home just to kind of get everything that you always said, okay, I'll get to that later. Let's just do it now so that when it when the world finally opens back up, we can all go out and do stuff and know that we're going to come home to a nice, clean, organized house. Hey guys, so I'm being very ghetto because I haven't bought like organized, sorry, I haven't bought any organizers and I know that they have like these things to stack up so that some seasonings are higher than the others which I will order on Amazon but for right now I just want to get it done so I made a shelf out of um um what's it called Am my Amazon box so I'm gonna do it all through there so I can at least have like I don't know if it'll work but I'm gonna try <laughs> to do it kind of like this 
We'll guys, see. I really want to know, are you guys organizing at home? What are you guys working on? Are you just kind of getting through life? Because I know I went through a couple of those days. Um, let me know in the comments below what you guys are doing to kind of just stay busy. Um, and tell me what your first plan is when you're finally free. Okay, so I'm trying to make this work to kind of, so I can actually see how many I have versus it being in the box because I couldn't see, like, that's how I ran out last time. I thought I had a bunch and I only had one. So I'm going to see if it works because, again, I don't have this stuff, but I'm going to organize. I'm going to, I should actually, I'm going to start a list of things that I want to, so like, a, a stepper a, or I'll get one of those and maybe something to put this so it's cuter. But if you don't want to spend any money, this is the, I mean, it still doesn't look bad, but I would like to change it. Plus, I haven't gone shopping, so, you know, why not? So now I have um, these things, so I'm going to try and put them in here, too. This is what it looks like for right now um, because like I told you guys, I'm going to order this stuff on Amazon, but I, and I thought about just waiting to, to do this part till after I get the stuff, but I figured most people, if they're watching this video, are not going to want to buy like organizers. And if they do great, if they don't, I mean, this works too. So, um, I mean, I try to organize it in a way that you can kind of see everything. For example, I know this stuff looks like, okay, how do you know? They're the same thing. So these are both bay leaves. These are both cayenne peppers. These are different, but you can see them. These two are the same. These, um, this is cinnamon, cinnamon, oregano, basil. You can still see it. And then that's the pepper thing you put on pizza. And then this is garlic, which is also right here. So that's why you don't need to know. Um, Parmesan is here. That's why it's kind of in the corner. And I kind of tilted it so you can see. Um, and this too, I think I already said that. And then I know, so back here, I know, like, again, I'm going to put this, I'm going to make it organized. I'm going to, I'm going to buy the organizer. So you'll be able to see everything later. But if you don't want to buy all that stuff, you can do it like this. I know this cap is this I just is my stuff so I know so I, I just kept it there and I put something small in front of it so that I can still see the cap and I know what it is does that make sense um so I I put this in front and then this is honey both and then um this kicking and chicken these are kind of all season um like kind of like adobos so this is adobo this is adobo and then this and then over here, I can still see that this is the um, rotisserie chicken seasoning. Obviously, that's out. The two um, virgin um, olive oils. And then this stuff, you know, again, it's a little bit ghetto. But, I mean, I'm going to make it look cuter. But if you don't want to, this is an option. You can just get a bowl that's clear so you can see. And you can see when it's kind of getting low, which was my problem. And that's why I'm doing all this because I never know what I have. And that is like my number one priority in life is coffee. So that needs to be easily um, accessible. And then that's Chad's little powders for his water. So that's there. Excuse my kids, they're watching. Um, I mean, they're doing school stuff. So that's why they're there and loud. Quarantine life. Okay, so I um, organized it. This is Christmas mugs and cups. And then I have um, these jars that I kind of just exchange with the ones on my counters. Um, just some regular coffee mugs. These are um, my mason jars, my Ray Dunn mugs that I'm not using right now. I mean, we use them, but just, I kind of decorate with them and use them for other stuff too. Can you turn that down a little bit? Thank you. 
um, excuse the loud <laughs> computer. My kids are doing school. Um, so these are my other mugs that we kind of use more often. Not really. I don't know. <laughs> I just have them lower. We kind of mostly use like to-go cups for our coffee. So, and then these are just kind of um, plastic cups that I have or cups for the kids to use. I like to put my coffee in this one too. I just don't like to see my coffee. It, it's a weird thing I have. Um, and then these are just kind of regular cups that I have. These are glass stuff over here. And then again, just my seasoning. So now I'm gonna go work on the other. So here is my pantry. It's not perfect, but it is somewhat organized. So I have the paper plates and bowls and cups. These are appliances that I don't use on a regular, so I can keep them there. These are our cereals and like things that I buy in bulk, so I can kind of you know, try and make them last a little bit longer. Oatmeal. These are like pastas and rice. And then over here I have like cakes and um, just mixes. That's pancake mix and stuff. That's baking stuff right here. Um, salad stuff. That's my smoothie. <laughs> um, lunches. So it's kind of like condiments. Again, this is not perfect, but it's better than nothing, right? It's better than it was before. I can see everything. Everything is kind of in in a in somewhat of a order. Um, I try to put everything so I can see it. Like the beans are back there. I don't really make a lot of beans. That's why I didn't put them like in the front. These are the things that I use most. Um, and then these are all soups down here. All the different kinds of soups. Um, and then like I, that's um, stuff to make pizza, tacos, um, forks and spoons. Um, uh, what are those things called? Ziploc bags. <laughs> it's right in my face. <laughs> Our garbage bags, <laughs> um, potatoes. These are like, cause I have the cookies up there, right there. So when it gets low, I'll just refill it from down here. These crackers are mostly for me and Chad, so the kids don't really have to get to it. Bread, oatmeal, Cheez-Its. The chips are in there. I have extra chips, but they're in my, um, in my, one of the rooms in the storage. It's like a storage room. Um, and then more chips. And then our Gatorades are down here. Vinegar all the way back there because I was not organized and I didn't realize that I had so many. So now I know that I have four vinegars. <laughs> um, these waters are expired, but I don't want to throw it away. I think I got those like two years ago for hurricane season, but I figured, God forbid, for this hurricane season, if we do need it, um, we can just, you know, like I said, God forbid we need it. But if we do, I can always use it as like um, bathing water. So I just figured I'd keep it. Um, but yeah, and then there's just extra space there. I have other stuff I have to store, but I don't think I'm gonna put them in here. But I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. A lot of food. <laughs> but it's important because we're here all day, every day. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's not perfect, but like I said, I already ordered the, um, <clears throat> the organizers from Amazon. I should be getting it on Monday, so I will go ahead and um, change it out once I do get that. But make sure you're following me on Instagram at Caroline's Life, because uh, I will post it on my story when I finally get the organizers, um, so you guys can see how it looks. And don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and leave me a comment down below. Love you guys, bye. Okay, this is the ending.